What's up and welcome to day one of the Reading Rush Readathon. It is currently 9.41 in the morning and I am sitting in my car outside of the grocery store because I gotta go get some groceries before I even start reading because I was thinking about getting them over the weekend, but with the weekend, it's always number one, every single person and their mother is getting groceries. And then number two, because of everybody getting groceries, like all of the stuff that I wanna get is out. Like I'll walk into Aldi and there's like absolutely no cucumbers and like absolutely no, like I don't even know what I buy, but whatever. The point is, is I really wanted to try and go not on a weekend. So it fell on today as Monday, plus my husband's home today. So it's like the perfect time to like go get groceries and make fresh meals like a nice little wife does. So that's what I'm doing today. But as soon as I'm done here at the grocery store, planning on going home, putting all the groceries away, and then picking up a book and reading for a little bit. And so I will definitely like catch up with you guys once I get home I just wanted to like do an intro here in the parking lot to be like hey this is my life right now but because this is a daily vlog see I keep forgetting like this isn't a weekly vlog I have to fill up this video with stuff all day long my life is not that interesting but it's fine even if it's a five minute video that works right so yeah, I have no clue what I'm going to start reading. Well, like, I kind of have a clue, but once I get home, I'm going to look through the books because sometimes I forget what my TBR is, and we'll talk about what I'm going to be reading, so. Also, we forgot to talk about the elephant in the room, which is my hair color. If you don't follow me on, like, Instagram or whatever, you probably didn't even see my update, but yes, I dyed my hair because back in April, I had a nightmare hair scare... I don't know what you want to call it. But anyway, I went in to get my normal like blonde highlights because I am a dirty blonde and I like to get blonde highlights that like complement my hair and just lighten it up a little bit. And this girl messed up my hair so bad. And you've probably seen in my other videos, like you were probably like, gosh, this girl, like she did her own dye job. No, I didn't. But like they dyed it this like yellow, like it was all different colors. Like there was like this yellow blonde, like strip in the front and like I don't know it started growing out and looking hella raunchy so I went to a different hairdresser and I was like please can we get rid of this and so we decided to dye my whole head like as close to my natural color as possible um and so it is a little bit like darker it's not you know like the perfect tint of my actual hair but I am really loving it. Like I'm even thinking of just like getting this color in it a couple times throughout like this fall and winter because I really, really like this color a lot. And so it turned out really great because we were all worried because the girl had just bleached my hair like so much. And they said like after I dyed my whole head, they were like, yeah, you need to like make sure that you don't dye it for a while. Like don't get any bleach in it. Like don't get any highlights or anything like that. So I'm really glad it turned out great because if it didn't, I don't know what I would have had to do because I do not want to have to cut off all my hair because... I'm growing it out long, but it turned out great. Let's look at the positives in life, and I really, really love it. It's amazing, and yeah, I'm really happy about it. So, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, it's 12.50. I got back from the grocery store, like, I think it was like 11.40 or something like that, and I started cooking the lunch. Um, and so I made this uh, chicken and chorizo paella and so it's um, chilling over here because like it's super super hot so I have it in the bowl trying to cool off so while it's cooling off since I haven't eaten yet I also haven't read anything yet because I hopped on my computer and was doing some work for the book club but let me sit down and figure out what book I'm even going to start reading because then I'll start reading after we're done with um, lunch. Okay, so this is my TBR stack, and I've been thinking about this book. So I think this is the one that I'm going to start. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, because it just like looks really, really great, and it's an arc. Wow, it doesn't come out for a really long time. I keep forgetting that. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to start this one first. Yeah, so it sounds like a really good like suspense thriller, and it's set in Alaska. 
Um, I also am going to, because I actually, everyone's been telling me to listen to the audiobook for Daisy Jones and the Six. And so since I'm doing like Fitbit step challenges with a bunch of my friends, I've been doing like a daily walk. And so on the daily walk, I'm definitely going to start like listening to Daisy Jones. Um, so I'll do that a little bit later because it's just so hot. Um, and then, yeah, I am not sure what I'm going to read after this, but we'll get to that later. Everybody loves when Graham's in the videos. And we are the firefighter heroes. Are we ready to go? Graham, are you, are you YouTube popular? You look so cute. Okay, I'm going to go upstairs and start reading my book, finally. But I want to bring something up to drink. And I think I'm going to have some cold brew because I only had a little bit earlier in my cup. So, this and the half and a half. Yep, this is what happens. This is my all-time favorite cold brew coffee. And I'm just putting some organic half and half. Can I open it with one hand? Nope. Okay. Mm, let's just go ahead and finish it. Oh, look, my husband planted my basil plants that I bought today. They look so pretty. I like that you put it here in front of the window. Yeah, so we're in the place by the sun. Yeah, I like that. Then I can see it and it looks green. Okay, let's go upstairs and read our book, but I need to pick a bookmark. Do you ever have this problem where you never know what bookmark you wanna use? <gasps> Ooh, I'll use this one. I haven't used this one yet. Okay, we're gonna read up here. I think I'm gonna make this my spot to read in where you have to like sit in the same spot challenge. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let me see, let me open this a little bit. And my blankie. I'm a blanket person, I can't sit. Ooh, I can't sit anywhere without like a blanket. By the way, Gabby's mom made this for me. Like if any of you guys watch Gabby from Gabby Reads, her sweet mom made this blanket for me and it's so soft and I love it. <sighs> okay, got my drink, got my book, got my blanket. Time to read. Oh my gosh, I just started. This is literally the first page and I forgot. Look at that. Whose name is that? Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure this is the first book I've ever read that has my name in it. So this is going to be kind of crazy to read about myself. Not really, but you know what I mean. Okay, so it's slow going in this book. I'm only at page 38, chapter 5. So only that far so far. It's like 300 pages, I think. And it's definitely different than I thought. Um, I didn't realize that it's like based in like, what does it say? Like 19, I don't know, 1948 or something like that. Um, and I am not a big historical fiction person. So, you know, everyone talks like they're from the old days and everything's from the old days and like I don't know I just don't really like that part um I'm getting into the story a little bit more now but right now like all that I really know is that um this sister Elizabeth has a twin sister named Jacqueline and Jacqueline went missing like years ago and so there's like flashbacks of like when Jacqueline and Elizabeth were like together and then the main story is Elizabeth now grown up and has a daughter of her own and they live in Alaska. And then this like creepy man is like staying in their house or something. And I guess is going to like tell her what happened to Jacqueline so long ago. Um, but it's just a little like slow right now. Um, but I'm going to take a break because I want to make some candied pecans like low carb keto candied pecans because that's how I eat if you don't know that I actually have a whole main channel about keto and stuff but I'm gonna go start those in the oven because it takes about an hour for them to like slowly like roast 
Um, so I'm going to throw them in the oven and then I'll come back up here and keep reading while they're in the oven. But I would really like to finish this book today. That way I can start fresh every day with a brand new book. Um, but also later because like we're supposed to get like storms today. So I'm waiting to see if it's going to storm because then after it's done storming, I want to take my walk and start Daisy Jones and the Six with my audiobooks. So for now, take a break on that one. Go make some nuts. Wow, haven't even put these in the oven yet and they smell so good. This came in the mail from a giveaway I won. The Swallows. I enter a bunch of giveaways since in my book club I give away books all the time when we do events. Sorry if you hear my husband moaning, it's because he just got a back... What is it called? It's like a yoga wheel or whatever. Like a back cracker thing, so yeah. All of our mail. Me books, him back crackers. Did I put this in the middle of my back? Yep. You just hit this. Hit. How do I get up there? I mean, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep. And just let it what? let it loose. You just use your legs. Oh, it Oh, your back popped. A little bit, yeah. Oh, man. That must How be... far do I go? Oh, you go as oh, far as you want. No, you, like, let oh. it. It does your whole spine. Just... Oh. So I'm supposed to, like... Yep. Use your legs. But well, you... what do I do with my head? I mean, just le keep it... Keep it, uh... I you mean, need it to... You need to go farther down, dear, like towards... Farther this way? Like towards your lumbar, like your lower What's back. The lumbar? Babe, you're at your neck. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do I get... Okay. Jackie, it roll. <laughs> roll. <laughs> I'm rolling. <laughs> I don't know what the point of it is. Oh, you guys, did you know that Neck Alley has a readathon? It's from July 22nd, which is today, to August 30th. I didn't realize they were gonna have this. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I should... I mean, so I don't know if you guys know because I haven't really talked about my TBR for August, but um, I kind of, I'm already doing net galley things for August, but you guys will see that in a future video. But yeah, this looks like really cool. Okay, I just made it to part two, which is about 90 pages. Um, it's still just like really slow going. I still don't really like it. Um, but I think I'm going to check and just make sure that, um, no storm is coming right now because I feel like switching to Daisy Jones for now and taking a walk because I've just been sitting for the last like hour and a half or whatever. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and listen to it on my phone and take a walk outside because it's like kind of cloudy, so. Right when I wanted to go for a walk, it's pouring outside. Or raining. It's about to pour, I guess. Ooh, these nuts turned out really, really good. They're nice and crispy and they taste delicious. So I am gonna cross the street, go for a walk and listen to um, Daisy Jones and the Six, and hopefully it doesn't, like, rain on me, because it was literally just drizzling, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, I just walked for almost an hour, it was, like, 45 minutes, and it definitely looks like it's about to rain, and I'm listening to Daisy Jones on, um, like, twice the speed, so right now it says I'm in chapter four, and I think there's, like, 15 chapters, um, it's okay, like, I definitely wouldn't like the book if I had to sit and read it. It's definitely a lot better because of it having, like, a whole cast and stuff. Um, but it's fine, like, it's not something that I love yet, so I guess we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna start making some dinner. I know my husband is starting to grill some steaks, and I'm gonna make a salad and stuff to go along with that, and probably an alcoholic drink for myself. Um, I got in, let me see how many steps I got in. I have total 7.4 thousand steps, so that's pretty good. I'm trying to make it to like 9 or 10 every day, so I'll probably just pace around for a little bit inside now too. <laughs> This is really 
good. Yeah, I think he's checking the steak. This shit is good. So the salad has red onion, the daikon radish, cucumbers, tomatoes, olive oil, red wine vinegar, salt, and pepper. Asparagus we cooked on the grill. Steak, grass-fed, grass-finished from Butcher Box. Homemade hollandaise with grass-fed butter and crab meat. Oh my gosh, this is like the most expensive meal I've ever eaten and made in my house before, but it's delicious. Okay, so I'm in my prize and giveaway book room closet thing because I just got off of the computer um, picking, well, winners or whatever for the readathon that I was doing in my book club this week. Um, it was a binge your favorite author readathon. And so I'm gonna grab some prizes that I have. If you're not part of my book club, there's always a link down below to join because it's super fun. And look at all these books. Like, these are two, like there's two rows. That one I'm just filling up now. But these are all giveaway books that you can win by participating in things in my book club which is pretty awesome. And so I have, I'm gonna give this away as a prize. It's a book of the month cookie that they just sent me. <laughs> but since I'm keto, I'm not gonna eat it. And then I have some pins and stuff from uh, BookCon. I have some extra like bookmarks and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna pick, uh, I think I have to pick four different prizes for, yeah, for these people. So let me get four envelopes out of here. Okay, getting a bath ready so I can read in the bathtub and I have a little bath bomb. It's not anything special or colorful. It's just like the, uh, what's it called? Like, ugh, I gotta look what it's called now. <laughs> I forget the name of it. Dr. Teal's, yeah. So, that's just going along. I guess I need to pick a new book because Daisy Jones is what I'm listening to for my audiobook, so I don't want to listen or read that because that's for my walk. And then if I'm reading the book upstairs, upstairs is the same spot challenge. That means I need to start a new book for the bath. So I guess we'll pick a new one. Hmm. Should I read? Uh, before I fall? or in the woods or the lost maybe i'll do a poll really quick in my book club all right so i put a poll in my book club and once my bath finishes filling up i guess i'll just see how many boats are on here by the time I'm getting in the bath and that's the one that I'll pick. If you think that you can't have good things on keto, look at this thing. It's so delicious. This ice cream sandwich, oh my gosh, like Halo Top ice cream and these chocolate cookies that I made, this is delicious. Right, not that many people got to vote since literally my bath was done being filled, but it looks like In the Woods is the winner. So that's what I will read for tonight. All right, so let's put this back in here and we'll finally read In the Woods, which I think is my prompt for a book that I meant to read in 2018. I think that's the reading rush that has that prompt. I've just been reading in bed for the last uh, couple minutes or whatever, and I'm like starting to fall asleep. I'm starting to already be tired, but... I got about 20 pages into In the Woods and I I am having such a hard time because like I really dislike the writing style like so far it's been like a police investigation type like detectives just talking and I just really don't like it and it makes me sad because like all three books that I'm reading right now are not books that I'm like loving at the moment. It makes me really upset, but tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to have much time to read tomorrow, but I'll try and keep reading at least some of these books tomorrow. Daisy Jones, I can listen to in the car tomorrow because I have to drive to my clogging practice tomorrow night, and that's an hour there and an hour back, so I'll get a lot of Daisy Jones in, but as far as the other two books, I don't think I will get 
that far in, but I will see you all tomorrow, the next day, whatever. I don't know how this works exactly since this is my first time daily vlogging, but I'll see you tomorrow when my next video comes out.